with that. Now, our final guest hit the spotlight as Corrie's pasty faced teen goth, Craig Harris. Since leaving the, co co the coddles, the cobbles, uh, he has made his mark as a recording artist, toured with Sir Elton John, and made his West End debut in Legally Blonde the Musical. Now, he's wowing audiences with his rippling torso and saucy pottery skills in the stage adaptation of one of the most romantic tearjerkers of all time. Please welcome Richard Fleischman! That before I got goosebumps, it looks brilliant. Oh, thank you very and much. You've you grown. Can... <laughs> <laughs> you've really grown. It's like being with your aunties, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's funny, it's always funny when I come back here because I know you all anyway, so it's, mm. it's kind of weird, but it's no less scary actually. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, I went to see it and I have to say, it is amazing. Everybody should go and see it. You are stunning in it. Oh. Thank you. Your very voice. Much. Uh, the American accent <laughs> is very good, Thank you. but that, but I have to say the tricks, or what the special trick, are, are just are, was it? It must have been a very difficult show to rehearse. Yeah, crazy difficult. And um, as you say, the tricks and the special effects that that are in the show oh. are mind blowing, and uh, oh. and they look great from out front. But for us, it was just hours and hours and hours of stand a bit to the left. Oh, bit really? more to the left, okay. bit to the right. So um, trap yeah, doors and things that you have to like little marks and things you have to. Do you oh, do? Yeah, there's all kind it's of crazy. Is it actual well, magic? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, you know, you say, I, I, I walk through it? doors and, and bodies through, and, half and, that, and he actually goes through a door. You can't go I through can't. a door. He does. Yeah. Can, you'll see. You'll see. If you oh, you must know how that's done then now. Yeah, well, you'd hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so that means that a magician's had to give away one of his tricks. Well, um, to you. the illusionist on the show is called Paul Keeve, and um, he's done everything I've from like, Harry Potter name. and everything. Yeah, and oh, yeah. he's he's a main, he's like he's like the real life Jonathan Creek, and he um, he just literally goes away with these problems of how we're going to get Richard to walk through a door, and he's he's worked with Matthew wow. Watchers, mm. the director, who's amazing. And the changing over the bodies when you're dead. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I kept thinking, <laughs> I've got to come back and keep watching this. He can't see the joints. He can't. See the joints. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, maybe he's dead then. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's just it's on for one night only. Yeah. That's it. I mean, obviously, it's, it's such an iconic film. Uh, how have you felt in terms of the pressure of living up to Patrick Swayze? Um, yeah, I mean, it's undoubtedly, you know, it's massive pressure to step into um, to any part uh, yeah. on the West End, but certainly when it's been done so iconically by people like mm. Patrick Swayze and Demi mm. Moore. Um, but we, you know, we were really lucky with the fact that um, this was the play and the, and the musical, so they wanted it to be its own entity. Yeah. Um, but, but also, you know, there's no getting around it. It was really nerve-wracking, so we're just over the moon that it's been... Your voice sounds huge now, because you you're more of a sort of pop singer, weren't you, before? Have you had to really sort of train your voice up, as well as everything else? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, it's a different style of, of, of music, um, you know, it's not singer songwriter stuff, so it's kind of, it's different. But yeah, I mean, in terms of the stamina to do mm. um, the size of the sing every night and, and do it eight times a week, um, yeah, it can be quite demanding. So how many songs it? do you sing? I can't remember. So I many. think it's something like nine. I but know. yeah, it's something but like big, nine. Aren't but they? they're big songs. Do you do yeah. Unchained Melody, like from the film? Well, it's done, uh, you, you know, yeah. it's, it's great that you've seen it, because I can say, but um, it flirts around the story a few times, and it, you know, you couldn't really do this story without mm, having no. that song in it. Somewhere. There are lots of new songs as well, aren't there? There's a lot of new songs. Well, it's, it's um, 
Dave and Glenn who've written it. Dave Stewart, Dave Stewart from the Rhythmics yeah. and Glenn Ballard who's, um, who's written everything including Man in the Mirror for Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, wow. he's, he's, they're amazing and um, they've written the most beautiful oh, score. Are you still doing your own music? I am. Well, I mean, not right now because we've got kind of Too eight busy. shows a week and mm, to yeah. be honest, I, I feel a bit like Vanessa. <laughs> just uh, falling asleep on the desk. You know, but, <laughs> when, um, you see it, when you go and see it, everybody, which you must, it is the most exhausted. You come out exhausted so I can just imagine how you feel. I just have to say about the tube train, that, I, I, I shouldn't be saying it because you haven't seen it, but the tube train just fascinated me. The now? subway ghost, yeah. <laughs> the subway, uh, the subway, sorry. Uh, but yeah. it's, how clever is that? It's very clever, and that's, I mean, that's a whole um, physical theatre thing, which is a guy called Liam Steele who's, who's come up with this concept. And uh, I won't give away how it's done, but basically everything goes into slow motion on the set. It's like Honest the Matrix. Oh, okay. And he uses your singing at the same time. Well, oh, fortunately wow. not during that bit, but there's a lot of, a lot of screaming. Have you got to make a pot? As well, I, I don't. But um, but Casey Levy, who plays Molly, who's magnificent, and um, and she does actually make uh, a part live on stage. Yeah, really. She, she did. She took lessons. Pop, pop yeah. wheel and everything. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, you couldn't have the musical without that iconic scene because yeah. you True. know that yeah. that's when you think of of ghosts, that's what you think of. You, scene. That, that scene may well be ruined now, not only for <laughs> millions of people at, at home, but perhaps even for yourself okay. when you're when you're on stage tonight. Because we we kind of imagined, you know, you're, you're a young, handsome, good-looking guy. We can imagine at the end of a show, maybe people throwing flowers, maybe bouquets of flowers arriving for you. So we thought. Because we love you here on Loose Women, okay. we're going to make you a pot to put your flowers in. Fantastic. Not just any pot, we're going to do it live on air. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to pit uh, Lisa and Carol against each other in a competition to see who, using the pottery wheels provided, can make Richard a lovely vase. So <laughs> Carol and Lisa, they've got there their ghost go. shirts like on. Very you nice. Have to judge us, okay, all right then. Very nice. Doesn't have Over to look go. like a pot, though, does it? <laughs> Where do you want me? Richard, you should have to go. You can stand in the middle stand if you like. Middle. I'm sure that'll be fine. You, you keep a beady eye. Okay. Oh, will that be all right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what Potter's Wheel would be complete? Uh, well, we're going to hopefully give a little bit of atmosphere. Already got have it. you got it switched on? Are they ready? Are they turning They're on? They're ready to go. Okay, ready to go. What you need, Carol and Lisa, it's all very well, Richard, you be. Are we started? Are we started? No, oh, not oh. yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh. We wouldn't be the same without a pair of strong arms to hold you. Oh, just to create the oh, scene. So, no. boys, if you'd like to come in, oh, Jen, come in, your job. time has come. Oh, what happy Friday! Happy Friday! Try, we'll try them in both. 
This is um, this is that, like a little that, chair. I see. Okay. Yeah. I have to say, I I'm incredibly well. impressed with this. Oh it's my gosh, so am I. Okay. Look at that. Was, um, That's a proper... Mostly down oh. to this young man. And li li <laughs> congratulations, Cara. I don't actually care. It's just been the most marvellous Friday. <laughs> <laughs> You're very Tonight, Richard, because uh, Ghost the Musical, you've had your, your previews and all that, but it's actually running now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's open now. We're at the Piccadilly Theatre and uh, we've got a show tonight and two tomorrow and, and every day from then on. And it's going to be until... Uh, how, how long is it running for? You've got a year's run? Uh, yeah, at the moment we're there till January, yeah. Oh, lovely. Thank you for being such a good sport, Thank Richard. Thank you for having me. As ever, it is good lovely to have you on. Richard, Thank please. You so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys.